diversity challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Katzman. Hello. Oxford plays Cambridge tonight in a fixture that will undoubtedly put to rest once and for all the rivalry that's existed between these universities for centuries. More to the point, it'll secure one of the teams a place in the second round. Robinson College Cambridge was founded in 1977 by the British philanthropist Sir David Robinson, who'd made much of his money on the GGs. Something of a stranger to this contest, having only appeared three times since 1994, tonight's team are proud to tell us that the college boasts the highest loo to undergraduate ratio in Cambridge, which no doubt appealed just as much to its alumni, the TV presenter Connie Hook, the former Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg and the comedian Robert Webb. Representing around 560 students and with an average age of 20, let's meet the Robinson team. Hi, I'm David Verghese. I'm from Hertfordshire and I'm reading English. Hi, I'm Catherine Hodge. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying theology and religious studies. And their captain? Hi, I'm James Pender. I'm from Martworthy in Hampshire and I'm reading for a degree in natural sciences. Hi, I'm George Barson. I come from sunny Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire and I'm studying physics. Well, playing them, the team from Wadham College, Oxford. It was founded in 1610 by the heiress Dorothy Wadham using the provisions of her late husband's will, making her the first woman outside the royal family and titled aristocracy to found an Oxbridge college. Distinguished alumni include Sir Christopher Wren and Robert Hooke, and more recently, the former Labour leader Michael Foote, the former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, and the writer and broadcaster Melvin Bragg. Representing around 600 students with an average age of 24, let's meet the Wadham team. Hi, I am Vivian Holmes. I'm from Cambridge and I'm studying mathematics and philosophy. Hi, I'm Edward Lucas, originally from Manchester. I'm studying political theory. Their captain? Hi, I'm Vivek Ramakrishna. I'm from Hyderabad in India. I'm reading for a DPhil in chemistry. Hi, I'm Thomas Vaness. I'm from Kingston upon Thames and I'm reading for a DPhil in theoretical physics. Right, you all know the rules, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. Albums including The Painter by Paul Anker, The Academy in Peril by John Cale, Silk Electric by Diana Ross and The Velvet Underground and Nico all have covers designed... Andy Robinson Warhol. Barton. Uh, Andy Warhol. Correct. <laughs> your bonuses, Robinson, are on words. Firstly, for five points, in the OED, the earliest citation of the verb Twitter comes from the work of which literary figure in his translation into Middle English of the Consolation of Philosophy by Boethius? Chaucer, isn't it? Chaucer. Chaucer. Correct. Which 17th century English poet is credited with coinages including debauchery, fragrance, jubilant, impassive and lovelorn? Milton Mendel, like, yeah, Milton, I think. Yeah, we talked about that earlier, Milton. Milton is correct. Born in Boston in 1809, which literary figure is credited with coinages including quotability, multicolour and tintinabulation? The latter from his poem, The Bells. Boston, Boston. Twain, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's the only one that's born. Twain is from around there. Yeah, okay. Can you be Whitman? Could be Robert. Should we guess that? He's a poet. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, you think? Yeah. Okay. Walt Whitman. That was Edgar Allan Poe. Ten points for this. In 1541, the Spanish conquistador Hernando de Soto became the first documented European to cross which major river? He died the following year during the same expedition. <laughs> Robinson Verghese. The Amazon. No, you lose five points. Probably in present-day Arkansas or Louisiana. You may not confer. One of you may buzz. Wadham Ramakrishna. The Missouri? No, it's the Mississippi. Bad luck. Ten points for this. A former military surgeon, Alphonse Laveran, received the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1907 for his discovery of the protozoan that causes which insect-borne disease? The organism was later... Wadham Ramakrishna. Malaria. Malaria is correct, yes. Your bonuses, Wadham, are on members of the Lunar Society, a group of thinkers whose meetings in and around Birmingham from 1765 were scheduled to reflect the lunar calendar. Identify each person from the description. Firstly, a master potter with interests in the arts, geology and chemistry. 
He invented the pyrometer to measure heat in kilns and developed jasperware pottery. Mm -hmm. Pass. That was Josiah Wedgwood. <laughs> Secondly, a leading entrepreneur of the Industrial Revolution, known for his partnership with James Watt and the manufacture of steam engines. Matthew Bolton. Correct. Finally, a Yorkshire-born polymath noted for his part in the identification and isolation of a number of gases, including oxygen. Oh, oh, yeah. Joseph Priestley. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this starter question. Words meaning the fruit of Cydonia oblonga, a woodwind instrument, the protruding portion of an animal's face, the condition of being warm and enclosed, an undernourished person, and a popular term for the buttocks, are linked by characters in which play by Shakespeare? Wadham Vanette. Midsummer Night's Dream. Correct, they're the mechanicals. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses this time, Wadham, on plants. What seven letter Greek derived term denotes an underground horizontal stem that bears both roots and shoots? It may play a part in food storage or propagation, for example, in the case of bamboo. Oh, I don't know. Um, Pass. It's rhizome. It's rhizome widely used as a culinary spice and in beverages. Which plant is known in Hindi as adrak? Its generic name and its common English name both derive via Greek from a Sanskrit word. Ginger. Correct. A member of the ginger family, curcum longa, has what common name? Its ground rhizome is a key ingredient of curry powder and may also be used as a dye stuff and as a test for alkalinity. Turmeric. Turmeric is right. Ten points for this. Listen carefully. Around 1540, Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, translated books two and four of the Aeneid. In an attempt to emulate Virgil's prosody, he made the first documented use of which rhymeless verse form, later used in Elizabethan drama and narrative poetry? <laughs> Robinson Vergeese. Blank verse. Blank verse is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on Britain in 1908. Firstly, for five points. In 1908, Edith Morley became the first female professor at British University or University College when she was appointed to the Chair of English Language at which university, which had been founded in 1892? Manchester, Edinburgh could be anyone. Okay. Manchester? No, it was Reading. Out of 2,008 athletes competing in the 1908 Olympics in London, 37 were female. Among these, Sybil Newell and Lottie Dodd won gold and silver for Britain in what sport, the only women's event held within the Olympic Stadium? Two-person sport. Are they both won gold? No, one woman, gold one woman, um, No, that's right. That's very old. Archery, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good oh, yeah, yeah. Archery? Correct. Yes. In 1908, Elizabeth Garrett Anderson was elected Mayor of Aldborough in Suffolk, the first female mayor in England. Earlier, in 1865, she'd become the first woman licensed to practice what profession? Medicine. I thought, yeah. It's medicine. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Medicine. Correct. We didn't take a picture on that. Your picture starter, you'll see a map of the United States showing the location of the 12 cities in which Federal Reserve banks are located. For 10 points, I want you to identify the city highlighted in orange. Robinson Barton. Savannah. Anyone like to buzz from Wadham? You may not confer. One of you can buzz quickly. Wadham Holmes. Atlanta. It is Atlanta, yes. Now, you get the bonuses, then, Wadham. They are also on the same theme. You'll need to identify three more of the American cities that are home to the Federal Reserve Banks. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, the city marked at A. Is that Indiana? Like, is that Indiana? I don't know. Iowa. Yeah. That could be Iowa. Indiana. Hmm. Indiana? Or the Demo? Do you want to see it? Demo? Mm -hmm. Demo? No, it's St. Louis. Secondly, the city marked at B. That's Michigan. That one's... Michigan? Michigan. Yeah, OK. Uh, that is... I think it's Ohio. Ohio? Yeah, city in Ohio. Which one? 
Uh, Come on. Yeah. Pittsburgh? No, it's Cleveland. And finally, uh, the city at sea. That's Pennsylvania, right? Where's New York? New York's further up. Okay. Is that Pennsylvania? Yeah. Hmm? So it might be... I think it's Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah, Philadelphia. It is Philadelphia, yes. Ten points for this. Commissioned in 2003 and entitled Empty Suit, Yaroslav Runa's sculptural depiction of a man riding the shoulders of a giant is Prague's monument to which literary figure? The image come from his... Robinson Hodge. Kafka. Kafka is right, yes. Right. Your bonuses, Robinson, are on astronomy. Firstly, the Pistol Nebula lies at about 25,000 light-years from Earth, near the centre of the galaxy. It contains the Pistol Star, a massive body considered to be a candidate LBV. For what do the letters LBV stand in that context? Light bearing No, it's luminous blue variable. <laughs> Secondly, the bullet cluster is a collision between two galaxy clusters about 3.8 billion light years from Earth. Its structure has been cited as evidence for what hypothetical substance? Dog matter. Correct. The name of what mythological weapon is given to the specific south pointing asterism that includes the star forming nebula M42? Trident? No, it's Orion's sword. Ten points at stake for this. An essential component of the cell walls of plants. Which element appears above aluminium in the periodic table? Non-metallic in its... Robinson Barton. Boron. Boron is correct, yes. <laughs> You've taken the lead. You get a set of bonuses on African flags. Which African country's flag bears a gold 12-pointed sun in the upper left triangle? The country became independent in 1990, and the colours of the flag are said to be influenced by those of the liberation movement SWAPO. Um, is that, is that Liberia? No, SWAPO's yeah. Namibia. It's Namibia. It's SWAPO's South West Africa. Okay. Namibia. Namibia. Correct. Which country's flag is a blue, yellow, green horizontal tricolor with a yellow sun on the upper fly side? This flag replaced the former flag in 2001. Mm. Could, it be, could it be an island nation, maybe? Sierra Leone? No, it's Rwanda. And finally, a red half sun appears on the upper band of which country's tricolor flag? A flag with a white full sun was in use briefly from 2010 to 2012. It could be Sudan because they got South Sudan like relatively recently, didn't they? Or Niger. Or Niger. Know. South, South Sudan? Sudan? No, it's Malawi. Ten points for this. St Hilda of Whitby and the Northumbrian St Cuthbert both lived and died during... Robinson Barton. Henry I. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. During which century of the Christian era? The same century saw the founding of the Tang Dynasty in China and the death of the Prophet Muhammad. You may not confer. One of you may buzz. What in Ramakrishna? The 8th century. No, it's the 7th century, the 600s. So, ten points at stake for this. In space exploration, for what does the letter G stand in the abbreviations GSC or CSG, both denoting a spaceport that benefits from the slingshot effect caused by the ah. Earth's rapid rotation... What in Ramakrishna? Gravitational. Uh, no, you lose five points. Rapid rotation at the equator. It's based at Kourou in an overseas department of France. Robinson Vagis. Guadeloupe. <laughs> no, it's Guyana. So we're going to take another starter question. Ten points at stake for this. Larger, hairy, screaming, hairy, and nine banded are species of which mammal? Autumn Ramakrishna. Armadillo. Armadillo is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Wadham, are on works by Western novelists set in Japan. Firstly, which 1997 work by Arthur Golden tells of the transformation of the young girl Chio into the hostess Sayuri? Investigation. Yeah. 
Memoirs of a Geisha. Correct. That gives you the lead. Secondly, set in the Dutch trading concession in Japan in the late 18th century, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoot is a work of 2010 by which British author? <laughs> Will Self? Will Self? No, it's David Mitchell. Published only in Japan and with little English text, God Hates Japan is a graphic novel by Mike Howitson and which Canadian author also noted for Worst Person Ever and Generation X? No, Canadian. <laughs> Gary Trudeau. Uh, no, it's Douglas Coupland. Right, we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear part of a well-known orchestral composition. For ten points, I want you to tell me both the name of the composer and the title of this specific movement. Robinson Pinder. Holst and Mars. Correct, from the planets. That was chosen by the BBC for their 10 Pieces initiative, which is a large-scale programme of events and resources that aims to introduce primary-age children to classical music via 10 key works. Your music bonuses are three more of those 10. Let's see how many you can identify. This time for the five points in each case, I simply want the name of the composer. Firstly, for five, this British composer. Britain. It is Benjamin Britten. It's Storm from Peter Grimes. Secondly, this American composer. Copeland. No, that's John Adams, short ride in a fast machine. And finally... <laughs> Mozart. It is Mozart, yes, it's one concerto. Right, ten points for this. Shipping intelligence and office business, further adventures of Captain Edward Cuttle Mariner and Paul's education are chapter titles in which novel by Charles Dickens? What in Venice? Tale of Two Cities. Anyone like to buzz from Robinson? <coughs> Robinson Hodge. Bleak House. No, it's Dombey and Son. Ten points for this. Its name derived from an old Dutch diminutive of the word fourth. What traditional measure of cask beer is the equivalent of a quarter of a barrel or 72 pints? <coughs> Robinson Barton. Keg. No, anyone like to buzz from Wadham? <coughs> Wadham Ramakrishna. Quart. No, it's a firkin. Ten points for this. Which English monarch first authorised the Book of Common Prayer in the Church of England? He became... Robinson Verghese. James I of England. No, you lose five points. He became king at the age of nine on the death of his father and died less than seven years later in 1553. Come on, Wadham, one of you buzz. Wadham Lucas. Henry V. No, it's Edward VI. Ten points for this. What three-letter abbreviation links the political union of Egypt and Syria from 1958 to 61? Robinson Vergis. U-A-R. Correct. <laughs> the United Arab Republic, you get a set of bonuses on oils now, Robinson. Referring to the patient who inspired its development, what name is given to a mixture of oleic and erucic Acids. It's a controversial but now scientifically validated treatment for the metabolic disorder known as ALD. Yeah, could be that. That's poison. So, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Castor oil? No, it's Lorenzo's oil. <laughs> Occurring in essential oils, what term denotes a large and diverse class of organic compounds of two or more units of hydrocarbons, with each unit consisting of five carbon atoms arranged in a specific pattern? I think it's isoprenoids. Well, you're, you're, you're <laughs> nominous. Isoprenoids? Correct. <laughs> By what name is the medieval alchemist's oil of vitriol now known? Sulfuric acid. Yeah. Yeah. acid? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Meaning holy faith. What name links two cities, one in northeastern Argentina, the other founded by Spanish settlers in the early 17th century in what is now New Mexico? Robinson Hodge. Sacrifido. What in Ramakrishna? Santa Fe. Santa Fe is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Wadham, are on technology billionaires born since 1975. Firstly, having dropped out of San Jose University, which Ukrainian-born entrepreneur began WhatsApp, now the world's biggest mobile messaging service? Alexei something. Alexei Smith. Alexei Smith. Yeah, we'll pass this. That's Yan Kuhn. Secondly, founder of the company DJI, the Chinese-born Frank Wang, is the world's first billionaire to make his fortune from what type of device? DJI. Uh, okay, so virtual reality. Yeah, virtual reality. Virtual reality? No, it's drones, unmanned aerial vehicles. Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp founded which transportation network company in 2009? Its short name resembles a German preposition. Uber. Uber is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a second picture now. Your picture starter, you're going to see a still from a film adaptation of a well-known play. Ten points if you can identify both the actor you see and the role she's playing. Robinson Hodge. Uh, Blanche Dubois, Vivian Lee. Correct. <laughs> so, Robinson, you get a set of picture bonuses showing three more actors in the role of Blanche Dubois. This time, all in stage productions. Five points for each actor you can identify. Firstly, for five. That is not Winona Ryder, is it? It's, if it's Winona Ryder, she looks very different. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Might as well get Winona Ryder. <laughs> Winona Ryder. Uh, no, it's Rachel Weiss. Oh. Secondly. Oh. I've seen her face before. God, that was a bit, but I can't remember where from. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it is, I'm sorry. It could, it could, it could be one of the family. Yeah, okay. Go for Jolie Richardson. Jolie Richardson? No, it's Jessica Lang. And finally, who's this? Oh, well, it's uh, Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what George said. Gillian Anderson? Correct. <laughs> ten points for this. Answer promptly. To the nearest factor of ten, what is the ratio of the mass of the Earth to the mass of the Moon? Wadham Ramakrishna. Two. No. Robinson, one of you Robinson Barton. Eight. No, it's 80. <laughs> Ten points for this. Ezra Pound, Joseph Brodsky, Sergei Diaghilev and Igor Stravinsky are all buried in the cemetery of which European city? Robinson van Geese. Venice. Venice is correct, yes. These bonuses, Robinson, are on UNESCO World Heritage Sites in southeastern Europe. Firstly, the Dermator National Park and the Natural and Cultural Historical Region of Kotor are the two World Heritage Sites in which former Yugoslav Republic? Um, Slovenia. Um, Slovenia. Was that the one we were talking about the other day? About the... Anyway. Okay, just say Slovenia. Yeah. Slovenia? No, it's Montenegro. The World Heritage Sites at Rila in Bulgaria and Meteora in northern Greece centre on what specific institutions? Oh, Orthodox Church, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Franciscans? I don't know. Pick one of them, I don't know. Um, what George said. Churches. Nice like, like, like schools, I mean. Mm. With good one. Churches? No, that's not specific enough. They're Orthodox monasteries. Located in the historical region of Epirus Vetus, Butrint is an archaeological site in which present-day country? Macedonia. 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 No, it's Albania. 
Two and a half minutes to go, ten points for this. Secreted by the pituitary gland, somatotropin is also known by the abbreviation GH. For what do those two letters... What and finesse. Growth hormone. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the muscular system in humans, Wadham. The internal and external oblique muscles form part of the wall of what broad part of the body? The abdomen. Correct. The masseter, the temporal and the medial and lateral pterygoid muscles are primarily employed in what action? Chewing mastication. Correct. The biceps femoris, semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles are commonly known by what collective name? The pectoral muscles? No, they're hamstrings. Ten points for this. The Prime Minister of which G20 member state has an official residence at 24 Sussex Drive? Robinson Barton. Canada. Canada's correct. You get a set of bonuses now, Robinson, on the 1918 general election. The general election of December 1918 was the first at which all men over the age of 21 had the right to vote. How old did women have to be? 30. Um, it was 30 originally, and then 25 to 30. Oh, what were you concerned? No, what, what, no. Come on. Okay. I think it's 30. Correct. Which prominent suffragette stood as the Women's Party candidate in Smethwick? She lost to Labour by only 778 votes. Okay. Yes. 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 Christabel Pankhurst? Correct. Constance Markiewicz became the first woman to be elected to Parliament but did not take her seat because she was a member of which party? Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin? Sinn Féin is correct. Ten points for this. Littlewood, Grace Wellborn, Morose and Doll Common are all characters in plays by which dramatist? What and finesse? Harold Penter. No. Anyone like to bust from Robinson? Robinson Barton. Thomas Hardy. No, it's Ben Johnson. Ten points for this. With the atomic number 28, which ferromagnetic element is often alloyed with copper in the manufacture of... What of Ramakrishna? Chromium? No, I'm afraid that's an incorrect interruption. You lose five points in the manufacture, Robinson, of coinage. Robinson Pinder. Nickel. Nickel is correct. So you get the points and that the wrong. Wadham College, Oxford, have 95 and Robinson College, Cambridge, have 155. Well, bad luck, Wadham. I don't think you're going to be coming back. I don't think it's going to be one of the highest scoring losing teams. Congratulations to you, Robinson. Well done, 155. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Wadham College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Robinson College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.